What's up guys, this is Shambles11 and welcome to Zombie Army Trilogy on the Xbox One. Return to this one after I've already done a couple of videos because uh, I have finally completed this game. Um, I've played most of it co-op with my good buddy Awesome Jedi. We have all but one achievement because unfortunately one is glitched, um, which the developers do recognise and is going to be patched apparently in April. And we have played the game all the way through on the hardest difficulties. We've done a bit of grinding, a bit of hunting, a bit of achievement getting. So I felt now was a good time to really show you guys a few more clips. There's some variations of, of stuff that's going on. And, and just to give you my thoughts. Now overall, I have to say, I have thoroughly enjoyed this. I think I've enjoyed it mostly because I've played it co-op. I'll be honest with you, if I played on my own, I wouldn't be that impressed. I don't think there's enough here to hold you uh, on, on your own. There's zombies you fight, skeletons you fight, big machine gun guys, guys that can uh, raise people up from the ground, chainsaw people, and that's pretty much it. There's three bosses you fight, they all have exactly the same formula. But in co-op, it, 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 it's very good fun. You can really edit it. You can play up to four player co-op online. Um, we did two. Um, mostly for the banter. Uh, there's quite enough quite enough gameplay hours there. Uh, I think playing through in Sniper Elite difficulty took us four nights. Playing four hours a night. So, maybe a bit longer. 20 hours of gameplay. Plus an extra few days to go back in and get all the achievements. There was only really one that I had to majorly grind on. Um, there's a couple of grind spots for all the achievements that we needed. But really there was only one which is over 10,000 limbs. But even then I think I was on about 9,000 by the time we, we played everything through. There are some fantastic set pieces. Usually the game's okay. It's nothing special. Um, it was never going to be. This is a, a relatively budget game. It retails over here in the UK for $29.99. I think I got mine online for $26. I think in American dollars that's $4,000. In Australia that's $0.30. Cents. I'm not sure on their conversion rates. Um, but overall, I, I really would say um, it, give this a go. Uh, I certainly wouldn't recommend it for your kids. I am a parent, I do have a teenage son, I do let him play 18 or 18 games, but I, I, he wouldn't want to play this. It's a bit too much. It does get pretty dark, there are a few pretty gross moments. But overall guys, thoroughly enjoyable game. Uh, if you've got a couple of mates, check it out, give it a good go. Um, and, and really, you know, swear at Hitler, but be careful, he does uh, manage to booby trap his pictures with falling clocks. Thank you ever so much for watching. Till next time.